Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Amen. Just a minute, I'm coming back. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Osana. Hallelujah, Osana. Hallelujah. Sana, halle, halleluja. 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 Sana. Hallelujah, Hosanna, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's me again. I'm back in the part two. Sister Magdalene Emily Tanui. So, I was talking about, um, I was talking about the Word of God. Peter and John, they were preaching the Word of Lord. Those times, for Christos, when the servants of God were preaching, they were so powerful. Even now, we are also powerful. It is only that many of us, we are playing. God was there those times, and is also even now. So, the thing which surprised me, it worked, it worked, uh, I saw it in the, in the YouTube um the servants of God, many of them, they call themselves pro- prophets. In Swahili, they call themselves Nabi. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, it is good to be a prophet, to be Nabi. It is well. Hallelujah. Amen. But God, God is God. God is not a human being. God is God. We have to respect God. We don't have to play with God. But many servants of God, nowadays, they are playing a lot. Playing. They don't care. Because, um, hey, if a servant of God is going to train children of God to lie, I'm asking also those children of God who they are calling themselves Christians, they are born again. And they agree, they are prophets, they are nabi, the the servant of God, to lie them, to tell them, do this and this and this and this, I will pay you. And you you are standing in the altar of God, Jehovah. And you are lying. You are really lying. You know you are a liar. My sister, if you are going to hear this, my preaching, and you are one of them, you know, you always lie. You know, People sometimes, they lie at home, they lie their men, their, their wives, their children or neighbors. But this is too much because they go even in the altar of God, Almighty God, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. I will talk. I will talk today. Sometimes I want to talk things, but I say, how will I do it? But the Lord Jesus Christ tell me, talk. Yes. The Lord tell me talk. I have to talk so, so that our brothers will change. They will repent. Our sisters, they will change. They will repent. Eh? Many things which happen to our servants, it is also, there are some bishops, there are apostles, prophets, and uh, some also pastors, normal pastor, also like me. Amen child of God, but this one which I saw it yesterday and the day before yesterday, I saw how the servant of God was doing training the children of God, mostly women. They have to lie. They have to use many things, putting many things in the hand, hiding things in the hands. Man of God, you are calling yourself man of God. Please, God is warning you, repent. You have to repent. Also, my sisters and my brothers, who you agree to go and lie in the altar of Almighty God. The altar. And you are saying, 
I am so and so. I was so and so. And this and this have happened to me. I am very happy. The man of God have prayed for me. And this have happened. Here, my sister, my brother. This is not a joke. This is not a lie. Jesus is coming soon. And my sister, my brother, if you don't repent, oh, mostly you are going to lie in the altar of Lord Jesus Christ. Altar is a holy place. Yeah? Altar is a holy place where even if somebody is very sick, they will take the person there and to pray for the person. Yes. But that altar nowadays is for dancing disco. First of all, they will dance disco and then later they will go and prof they will go and, and, and bring a testimony for lie. Everything is lie, lie, lie. Oh. Hey, my Lord, my God. This is very sad. It is very sad for sisters and brothers. And even I know it's not only me I'm feeling sad. There are many who they are feeling sad. But we are going to continue to preach the gospel. It doesn't matter what happened to the servants of God. The Bible says it doesn't matter what they do. Continue preaching. They will not stop the preaching and they will not stop the word of God. The word of God will last forever. It doesn't matter what the devil do. It doesn't matter what the Satan do. It doesn't matter even if the Satan come and overcome the children of God or go into the altar and lie, lie, the servants of God. We will continue preaching the word of God because the Almighty God call us and choose us to, to serve Lord and to talk the truth. So, this is why I'm saying that Peter and John, they went and preached the gospel. They preached like, they preached with the, with the power of Jesus Christ, with the power of the Holy Spirit. And even they were telling a man who was was sick for many years, 40 years, I think so, wake up. They told him this man was begging every time, money, 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 money. Money anyway is not everything. The Lord said, we are not going to live because of bread only. Yeah? So money is not everything. But now, money, it is, the money itself, the money itself, we are using money, it is well. But the money itself, it has evil inside. Because this money, it is making the servants of God to be confused. Even they don't know what they are doing. They don't know in the morning what they are going to preach in the church. If a servant of God is going to stop somebody in the church and say, stop there. You have to pay the money before you go home. It is a shame. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So, we are going to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ. So that all of us we don't we don't be confused. We don't pass intimidation. We have to pray God, Almighty God, to help us because the devil have wake up every corner. The four corners all over the world, the demons they have wake up, they have come out. And those demons if a servant of God is, 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 is not going to be aware, those demons, they are going to attack the servants of God. It doesn't matter women or men. So the key of everything is to pray. Man of God, pray hardly so that you don't be confused, doing wrong things, which the Lord didn't call you for that. Prayers, we have to pray. We have to offer prayers because this is not good when the children of God, they are going to go in the altar and to talk lie, miracles lie. You have to pay them to do that. Oh, it is not well, oh. So, that I was saying that John and Peter, John and Peter, they went in the temple three o'clock and they met that man was outside. That man who was sick for 40 years, he was begging for money. And he was waiting for John and Peter to give him some money, to give him something. But John and Peter tell him, we don't have money to give to you. But we have something we are going to give you in the name of Jesus. Servant of God, men of God, women of God, we can continue up to today to heal people in the name of Jesus Christ. Not to tell the people to give us money. Don't tell people to give you money. So that you can pray for the person to be healed. What about a poor person who is coming direct from village? He need a prayers. He need prayers from you, servant of God. And you are asking money. 
you are asking him money. He don't have even a couple cent in his pocket. He's poor. His children have not eaten for one week. He don't have clothes. He has been sitting in the door of the church and begging, begging money. And you will be passing from the church in that temple of God, entering in your church inside, go and dancing disco in the altar, and, 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 and you leave that man outside. You cannot bring him inside and pray for him in that altar to be healed. You just leave that person and go your way. You enter. You leave him every day sitting there. We have to pray for people in the name of Jesus. And they will be healed in the name of Jesus. But before you do all those things, you have to sacrifice yourself to pray. To pray a lot. Pray a lot. Pray. Many servants of God, they always tell the Congress to pray. They tell them, today we are making fasting. Let us do fasting and pray. Himself is not going to do fasting, my sister, my brother. He's going to chop. He's going to chop. He's going to chop anything he wants. He don't care. He will be eating. Yeah? He will be eating and enjoying himself. And the other people, the Congress, they will be making fasting praying for the church. And if you servant of God, you cannot pray. You will go home and chop and sleep. You come in the morning, you ask people, how long are you far uh, doing fasting and praying? You see people, their mouths have cut. They, there is no skin. The mouth have cut. They have no drink water because they are doing fasting for praying for the church. And the servant of God is going behind the church and going to do wrong things, telling people, give miracle tomorrow that I pray for you and you are healed in the name of Jesus. And this person even was not sick oh, and that is why sometimes people get sick. You, my sister, who you are doing those tricks, leave it and repent. Come and consent and repent. Say you are a liar. You do this and this because they push you to do that. Don't do it because it's the time for Jesus to come back. When Jesus come back, he said that he will come like a thief. When Jesus come back, oh, it will be a very big day and a very, very big day and terrible day. It has been wonderful for those Christians who they love God and obey God. And for those ones who they don't want to hear about the Lord Jesus Christ, it will be too much for them. It will be catastrophic. So my sister, my brother, we have to stop this. You have to stop who you are going, giving wrong testimonies. I am telling this all over the world. All over the world. Not even that pastor who do that one, or that woman of God do that, or that uh, brother do that. I'm telling any servant of God, and even... Those ones who are not born again, those ones who are born again, go and giving testimonies for lie. God is looking you from heaven. You think that God is not seeing you. You think that nobody is seeing you. But the day the Lord will show you a nakedness, that is the day you will cry. It is better. You cry now earlier. Repent. Tell God to forgive you. And my sister, my brother, please, stop these things you are doing. Going and giving wrong testimony. You are not sick. Even you are not married. You are 18 years old. You are saying you are 12 years old. Uh, you didn't get baby. And now you have get baby. How old are you? Lila, please, my sisters and my brothers, let us run to Jesus and do the work of Lord well. Because if this thing happens, people, they will not come to church. Even if you go and preach outside, they will say, hey, Christians, Oh, they lie, oh, they don't give a real testimony. They just give them money. You, they, they will do this, they will do this. They will walk like uh, somebody who is no normal. And then the pastor will just lay hands and then he's healed. And you are not sick. My sister, why do you make yourself to be sick when you are not sick? My brother, why do you make yourself to be sick when you are not sick? Pretender. To pretend is over. Because Jesus is on the way. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. I'm telling you, the day Jesus will come, he said he will come like a thief. My sister and my brother, let us be ready. Let us repent. We are going to pray. Let us repent in the name of Jesus. Jesus will not leave us alone. Let us pray God and repent. Pray God and repent. Let us stop lying. Oh, God have mercy. For you, my sister, for you, my brother, may God have mercy. Let God have mercy for us. We have to stop that. We have to stop it. Yes. False miracles. Nobody will come to church. Nobody will believe again for prayers. So we preach like John and Peter and like Jesus. 
We preach with the power of Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. May God bless you, my sister. My name's uh, Pastor Sister Magdalene Emily Tanui. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And Jesus loves me too. Amen. God bless you.